So let's go ahead and get started by getting centered. Please sit tall. In whatever position feels good for you today, we'll just be here for a couple minutes. Starting to turn off the outside and turn, turning in toward the inside. And if you need to, you can add a couple of deep breaths to this awareness, filling the lungs and then emptying them. If you're feeling particularly wound up or anxious or stressed, you could sigh with your exhale. And really let yourself arrive here in this moment. This day of the week, this time of day, this day of the month, this year, this body, this seat, this floor, this room you're in, this yoga mat, the sound of my voice, maybe the sound of your own breathing. You are here, you have arrived. You are here, you have arrived. And the teachings of yoga and many other traditions teach that happiness, joy, contentment can only be experienced in the present moment. So by arriving, you are opening yourself up to those experiences. And so have an openness to your mind and heart to receive whatever it is that you need to receive here. even if you're not sure what that is yet. And then go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath, please. And bring the palms together and bow the chin, honoring yourself as you are in this moment, body, breath, energy, and mind. It's in service of you that we'll practice tonight. So rubbing the palms together, creating heat. And then take the heated palms over your eyes, brushing gently over your head, down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. Hello, hello. So moving any props you have off to the side, let's come on to hands and knees, please. Table pose. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips or further back. Good, and we'll just start with some simple cat-cow. So inhale, looking forward with the chest, feel the tailbone lift, and exhale, round the back, reaching the mid back toward the ceiling. And then inhale, look forward, feel the tail lift, and then exhale, round the back. And let's do this a few more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale back. Inhale, looking forward. And then exhale, sink back into child's pose. Inhale, flow back up to hands and knees. Exhale again, child's pose. See to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Inhale, float right back up. And a few more of these. Exhale, sinking back. Inhale, lifting up. Warming up the back, warming up the shoulders and the hip flexors. Let's make this a bit more dynamic. Inhale up to hands and knees. Exhale, bend your elbows and toward your waist. Bring your chest toward the ground and then push back up and then sink back into child's pose. 
Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, coming up. Bend your elbows and bring the chest down only as far as you can go without collapsing. So if that's only a few inches, it's only a few inches. And exhale back to child's pose. Inhale up. Exhale, chest dip. Push up and back. Let's do a few more of these. Let's do two more. Inhale up, exhale, press, push up and back. Last one, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Take an adjusting breath in child's pose. Good, and then go ahead and come back up to uh, the hands and knees, not child's pose, but hands and knees. And keeping your thigh bone perpendicular to the floor, so pointing straight up, you're gonna gently walk your hands forward, allowing your heart to dip toward the floor. So only go as far as you can comfortably, but the elbows stay off the floor. When the elbows come down, you come out of the pose here. And you're feeling a stretch in the front of the chest, and in the shoulders, and your breathing. And then carefully walk your hands back and sink back into child's pose once again. Good, back up to hands and knees, please. So in hands and knees, go ahead and step your right foot between your hands, help the foot through. And if you need your back knee to have some cushion underneath it, you could bring a blanket under it. If you don't have one handy, but you still need the, the support, you could just double your mat back up and create a bit more cushion, okay? We're gonna be here for a minute. So with your hands or fingertips on the floor, inhale, look forward, feel the hips sink toward the floor. Good, take a deep breath in here. And with your exhale, straighten your right leg, pick up the toes, pull them toward you, pivoting on the heel, and feel your right hip draw backwards, coming into a hamstring stretch, stretching the back of the leg. And then inhale, rock forward, look forward, feel the hip sink. And then exhale, rocking back into the hamstring stretch, pulling the toes toward you. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward. And exhale, rock back. Just a few more times, getting the hip flexor and the back of the right leg nice and warmed up. Good, now before we do the other side, go ahead and rock forward and bring your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Now your hands could, could be flat on the floor. You could be on your fingertips here. If you have a yoga block and you need it, you could bring a yoga block underneath your left hand. Your right arm is going to extend forward, inhale, then reach up, exhale, reach behind you, and then down again. We're gonna do that a few more times. So inhale, reach the right arm forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down one more time, forward, up, back, and down. Good, bring the right hand to the floor. Go ahead and sweep that right leg back, sinking into child's pose. And then let's do the other side, coming back up to hands and knees, stepping the left foot forward and sinking into that hip. Good, so hands or fingertips on the floor, get light on the hands, look forward. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, straighten the left leg, pull the toes towards you. Think about guiding the left hip back. Good, and then inhale, rock forward. And then exhale, rock back, pulling the toes toward you. 
Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rocking back. Keep going. Warming up the left hip flexor, feeling the length in the back of the left leg. All right, one more time. And then a rock forward, stay forward, really sinking into that front hip, bring your right hand to the inside of your left foot. Again, that hand could be on fingertips or a block. You're gonna reach your left arm forward, inhale, exhale, sweep it into the air behind you, and then down, forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down. Let's do about three more. Last one. And then bringing the left hand on down, go ahead and sweep the left leg back, child's pose. Good, inhale back up to hands and knees. And please step the right foot forward again, because we're not done yet with these lunges and hamstrings. <laughs> Looking forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten the right leg, pull the toes back. Again, drawing the right hip back behind you slightly to enhance that stretch here. And your hands can walk further back towards your body if you'd like to. And you can stay right here if you want. If you wanna make this more interesting <laughs> or more fun, you can sweep the right arm forward and then into the air. It's a bit of a balancing act. Keep the right toes lifting. Keep breathing. The right hand could also be on the right hip here, but having it in the air is too much. Just keep working the right shoulder back for three. Two, and one, bring the right hand forward, rock forward, and then go ahead and bring the right leg back, child's pose. But only for a moment, inhale, come back up and step the left foot forward. Good, go ahead and straighten the left leg, pull the toes toward you, draw the right hip back. Your hands can walk back toward your body a bit and have the right hand flat on the floor. Good. And then reach the left arm forward and up. And again, if it's too much of that arm in the air, you could easily bring it onto your hip and then just work the shoulder. Cause that's really the point here. Having the arm in the air is just flare. <laughs> the shoulder is what we're trying to rotate back at this point, not the hand. And looking up if you can, if not, it's okay to look forward and keep the left uh, toes Lifting for three, two, and one. Unwind, bring the left hand down, rock forward. This time, step back to downward facing dog. Hips lift. And believe it or not, this is the first down dog. So go ahead and walk it out a bit. And we've done a bit for the hamstrings already. So you might feel this pose differently than you normally do at first. There's a bit more length in the back body already happening. Walking it out, pressing a heel to the floor, bending the opposite knee, and then feeling length in the spine. So the hip bones are reaching toward the ceiling. Three, two, and one, floating down onto hands and knees. Do a chest press. This time, bring the chest all the way to the floor. Release the hips back, coming onto your abdomen. Release the feet. Hands are underneath your shoulders, elbows bending and squeezing in toward your sides slightly. Keeping the pelvis grounding, we'll play around with the locust pose. So with your next inhale, go ahead and lift the head, chest, and the legs off the floor. 
Good, exhale, floating down. Doing that again, inhale, lift the head, chest, and legs. Exhale, float down. Locust pose, inhale. And release. Two more times, locust, inhale. And down. Fifth time's a charm in this case. Go ahead and come on up. And exhale, release on down. Curling the toes under. Push up the hands and knees and back to downward facing dog. And then carefully walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Hmm. Letting the knees be gently bent here, drape the upper body over the legs, release the head, neck and shoulders and arms. And notice where you're resting the weight of your body in your feet. So if you're more toward the heels, just lean forward gently into the balls of the feet and that'll give you more access to your back body. And by access, I mean, you'll feel the stretch more. <laughs> Good, all right. So from here, go ahead and bend your knees a bit deeper and roll yourself all the way up to standing a single vertebrae at a time. Your chin is the last to lift. <sighs> Good, we made it standing, feel sensation. And then we're gonna move into our arm swing practice. So, you know, this one, three part inhale through the nose, one powerful exhale out of the mouth with the movement. And today's movement will be inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, and then exhale, bend the knees, drop the body down, sweep the arms behind you to inhale, come up for the next round. And we're going to go for about two minutes. All right. So find a pace that works for you. There's no rush in this. <laughs> as far as doing it quickly, you can do it as slowly as you need to. So feet stacking underneath the hips, finding your breath. And again, it's a three-part inhale and one powerful exhale. When you're ready, inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, exhale, drop the body, sweep back to come up, back, up, and drop. Inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> Feel the full movement of your shoulder joints, up, back, up, and back. And you can even think about as you drop down with that exhale, feeling the thighs press into the belly to help emphasize that powerful exhale. about halfway done. Find again that pace that you can maintain. So if you need to slow it down, slow it down. About 30 more seconds. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> Three, two, and one, back to standing. Whew, feel sensation, breath rate, heart rate. Hmm. I'm taking a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward. 
press palms to shins come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Let's do that again. Halfway up, inhale. And down. Halfway up. And down. A couple more times. Halfway up. And down. Halfway. And down. Staying in the forward fold. Bend your knees until your fingertips touch the floor if they don't already. And then carefully walk your fingers over to the right side of your right foot. Release the head. And then begin to think about straightening your left knee, that left hip reaching toward the ceiling. And then carefully walking your fingers back to center and then walk them to the left side of the left foot. Release the head. And once you're there, think about straightening your right knee, the right hip lifting toward the ceiling. Breathe. And then go ahead and walk the fingers back to center, palms to shins halfway up again. Exhale, release. And this time, sweep the arms out to the sides, strong back as you lift yourself all the way up to standing. And palms to the heart. Good. So we're gonna do a little bit of work now for the front of the thigh or the quadricep. And this is technically a balancing pose, but you're welcome to use some support here because my focus for you is to stretch the top of your thigh, not really to learn to balance in this moment, okay? And so what we'll be doing is standing on one leg, you'll reach down and grab the, the base of your toes and then draw the hip forward as you draw the heel in toward the seat, okay? So this is not dancer pose, this is a quad stretch. Now. I did that in the middle of the room. You could do it at a wall. You can bring your hand to the wall and do the work here, okay? So again, we're not really focusing on balancing right now. We'll do that another time, don't worry. <laughs> so um, I'll lead you through it. I just wanted to show you what it looked like first. So standing on your left foot, go ahead and pivot onto your left foot, lift the right uh, heel back. Reach back and grab the base of the toes. Your left hand can be on the wall, or if you don't have a wall nearby, but you have like a chair or a couch or something, go ahead and hold on to that instead. And then draw the, the right hip bone into the space in front of you. And then draw the right heel towards your right hip. And think about your right knee pointing down toward the floor and then breathe, because <laughs> this probably feels a bit tight. Three, and two, and don't slingshot it. You're gonna slowly release that right foot back down to the floor. And then we'll find out what that feels like on the other side. So when you're ready, standing on the right foot, your uh, right hand could be on a wall if you'd like, or a piece of furniture. You're gonna bring the left heel in toward the hip, reach back and grab the base of the toes, draw the left hip bone forward, 
and the left heel toward the hip. Think about the knee guiding down toward the floor. Big stretch in the front of that thigh. And we're breathing into that stretch. <laughs> And just a few more deep breaths here. And again, don't slingshot it to the floor. You'll slowly release that foot down. All right. All right, so we'll move into our sun salutation next, which will work with those lunges we did earlier, because why not? We already got them nice and warmed up. We might as well use them. <laughs> and um, we'll add in the chair pose as well. So stepping to the top of your mat, please. Bring your palms together at your heart. Take a moment to find your breath, aware of the inhale and exhale. Hmm. Good. And before we start moving, I want you to reground your awareness in the present moment because you're moving around a little bit, the mind has been moving around a bit, but feel your feet on the floor, feel your consciousness in your body, the breath moving in your body, the environment around you, the sound of my voice, you are here, you have arrived. And every time we finish a sun salutation, we come back to this point, arrive again. Anytime you feel your mind wander or drift away, remember your body, remember your breath, and arrive again. So from this moment, inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep your arms back, chair prep. Inhale, chair pose, stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, release and step your right foot way back. Back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the arms up, turn the heart toward the ceiling. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Straighten the left leg, pull the toes toward you. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, do a chest press. Then push up, release to child's pose. Inhale back up to hands and knees and exhale downward facing dog. In down dog, lift the right leg high and step it all the way through, help it forward. Back knee to the floor. You guessed it, crescent lunge. Lift the arms up, turn the heart toward the sky. And then exhale, bowing forward, hands to the floor, straighten the right leg, pull the toes toward you. And then rock forward and step forward, standing forward fold. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale down, sweep the arms out to the sides, inhale, come all the way up. And palms together at the heart. Take a breath here. You are here, you have arrived this present moment. From this moment, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, chair prep, chair pose. Good, lift and fold. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release and step the left foot back this time. Back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. And palms down, straighten the right leg, pull the toes toward you. And then inhale, rock forward, exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Good, inhale down onto hands and knees, exhale, do a press, push up, child's pose, feeling the extension of the shoulders. Inhale back up to hands and knees, exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts and step the left foot forward, help it through. Back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. And hands down, straighten the left leg. And then rock forward, step forward, palms to shins. And down, arms out to the sides, come all the way up. 
palms of the heart. Inhale, I am here. I exhale, I have arrived. From this present moment, inhale, reach up. Chair prep, chair pose. Lift and fold. Halfway up and down, right foot steps. Knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Hamstring stretch. Rocking forward, downward facing dog. Good, hands and knees. Do a press, push up, child's pose. Back up, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts and steps through. Back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Good, hands down, straighten the right leg, pull the toes toward you. Inhale, rock forward, exhale, step forward. Palms to shins. And exhale down. Arms out to the sides, coming all the way up, inhale. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, I have arrived. From this present moment, inhale, sweep up. Chair prep, chair pose. Good, reach and fold. Halfway up and down, left foot steps. Knee down, crescent lunge. Hamstring stretch. Rocking forward, stepping back, downward facing dog. Hands and knees. Do a press. Pushing up. Child's pose. Rising up. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts and step it on through. Back knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Hamstring stretch. Rocking forward, stepping forward. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Arms out to the sides, come all the way up. Palms to the heart. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, I have arrived. Inhale, sweep up. Chair prep, chair pose. Reach and fold halfway. And down, step the right foot back. Knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Hamstring stretch. Good, rocking forward, stepping back. Downward facing dog. Inhale onto hands and knees, exhale, do a press. Push up, child's pose. Rising up, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, exhale, step it through, help it forward, back knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, uh, hamstring stretch. Good, rock forward, step forward. Palms to shins and exhale down. Sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, I have arrived, staying here. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, I have arrived. Keep hearing that. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, I have arrived. We're going to go through this flow one more time. Just one more time. Adding in some holds. And each time we hold the pose, we'll say in our minds, I am here. I have arrived. Wherever you go, there you are. 
from there. With your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, chair prep, chair pose, and arrive in chair pose. I am here. I have arrived. You are in chair pose. Now, whether you want to be in chair pose is a whole other story, but the reality is you are in chair pose. You are here. You have arrived. One more breath. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Good. Palms to shins. And stay here. Palms to shins, chest parallel to the floor, staring at the ground or your eyes can be closed as well here, but arrive, I am here. I have arrived. Your body is here working hard as it does, and you are arriving in this body aware of what's happening. And then exhale, folding forward. Go ahead and step your left foot way back. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Good, interlace the fingers and bring them onto the front thigh. Just a little variation here. And roll the shoulders down the back and look up. You are here. You have arrived. You are here. You have arrived. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hands to the floor and straighten the right leg. You can walk your hands back, pulling the toes toward you. Last hamstring stretch on the right side. <laughs> We're gonna make it count and arrive in this pose. And all that comes with it, all the sensations, pleasant and possibly unpleasant, what feels simple, what feels difficult. I am here, I have arrived. It might be a peculiar place to arrive to, but here you are. Good, and then go ahead and inhale, rock forward. Downward facing dog. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Let's go to child's pose first. Release the feet, child's pose. And so we're gonna to try to stay present as we move. So as you inhale, you're gonna come up to hands and knees. Let's in your mind say, I am here. As you do a press, you're gonna say, I have arrived. I have arrived. Pushing up, I am here. Child's pose, I have arrived. Inhale up, I am here. Exhale, press, I have arrived. Push up, I am here. Exhale, child's pose, I have arrived. One more time, I am here. I have arrived. I am here. And I have arrived, staying in child's pose, hearing that mantra in your head, I am here in child's pose, I've arrived here in child's pose. Good. And then inhale up to hands and knees. Downward facing dog. And we'll move into the lunge on the other side. So lift that left leg up and exhale, step it forward, help it through. Back knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up, interlace the fingers and bring them onto the front thigh. Feel the hips sink down and forward. Shoulders rolling down the back, looking up and arrive again. I am here, I have arrived.
Wherever you go, there you are. Here you are, you have arrived. Inhale and exhale, hands down, straighten the left leg, last hamstring stretch. At least that I'll instruct of you for today. You can always do more later if you want to. And arrive again, and arrive again, and arrive again. I am here, I am, have arrived. And then carefully rocking forward. Exhale, step the back foot forward. Palms to shins halfway up. Inhale, I am here. Exhale, fold. I have arrived. Again, halfway up. I am here. Fold. I have arrived. One more time. Staying in the forward fold, feel this present moment, your feet on the ground, the stretching of your back body, the slight hinge of your knees, the releasing of your head and shoulders, all the stretch that comes with that, the compression of your front body. The slight inversion of the upper body. Good. And then from here, carefully step back to downward facing dog. Floating down onto hands and knees, inhale. Release the feet, child's pose once again. And so from child's pose, we'll practice rabbit pose. And so your forearms relax to the floor and the top of your forehead or hairline also relaxes to the floor. You're gonna keep your head on the ground the entire time. Think about lifting and lowering your hips, not so much as doing anything with the upper body. So with your inhale, you're gonna lift the hips and rock from the hairline to the top of the head. And then exhale, release the hips back, rocking back to the hairline. So inhale, rocking forward. And exhale, rocking back on the top of the head. Now keep going and don't go any further than the very top of your head. It's going to be tempting to want to rock to the back of the neck or the back of the head, I should say, and that's going to overstrain the neck. So just from the hairline to the top of the head and back again. And if you like this idea of arriving every moment, inhale, rock forward. I, I am here. Exhale, rocking back, I have arrived. I am here. I have arrived. I am here. I have arrived. a few more times. Now I'll give you an option here. You can keep rocking in and out of the pose or you can hold the pose at the top. It's really up to you here, okay? I am here, I have arrived. And we'll all release the child's pose. And 
and arrive here feeling whatever sensation you might be feeling. And then taking a deeper, fuller breath, go ahead and walk your hands back, coming up to a seat. All right. So just a few more postures to do, and we'll do them on our backs. So take your time as you roll over. Coming to lay down, you can bring your knees into your chest at first if you'd like to. And then bring your feet flat to the floor. Heels underneath your knees, feet are about hip width apart. And your arms can just relax by your side here. And we're just gonna go in and out of bridge pose a few times and then we'll hold it. So pressing your feet into the floor, go ahead and lift the hips toward the ceiling and exhale, release them down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale up and exhale down. We're going to hold this time. So go ahead and lift the hips into the air and stay. And breathe. Press up a little higher for three. Two and one, carefully bring the hips back down to the floor. Bring your knees into your chest again and take the arms out to the side, making a T-shape with your body. Deep breath in and exhale, drop the knees to your right side. Allow your left arm and shoulder to hang back behind you, maybe even turning the chin to the left. Your right hand could rest gently on top of your left thigh, not forcing, but encouraging the twist. Good, with your next inhale, carefully unwind. And we'll do the other side, dropping the knees to the left. Round your right shoulder and arm, turning the chin to the right, left hand on top of the right thigh. And breathe. Good, with your next inhale, carefully come back to center, hug the knees in again. And then it might feel good to just gently rock from side to side on the spine. It also might not feel good, it's just okay just to hold the knees still if you want to. Now, when you feel complete here, go ahead and extend your legs down to the floor and make any final adjustments to rest comfortably here on your back for a few minutes. Letting your body uncross, the toes falling out to the sides, your arms resting by your sides, palms face up. Allow there to be a softness to the jaw and eyes and forehead. Good. 
And the eye is gently closing. And once again, allow yourself to arrive. I am here, I have arrived. I am here, I have arrived. Your body on the ground, all of the sensations in your body, this room that you're in, these thoughts, these feelings, the sound of my voice. I am here, I have arrived, you are here, you have arrived. And anytime your mind wanders and drifts into some past or future or fantasy, Allow yourself to again arrive. Peace. 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 You are here. You have arrived. Take a deeper, fuller breath into this present moment. Feel some gentle movement in your hands and feet, your arms and legs, this body, arrive in this body. Be gentle with yourself as you roll to your right side and eventually come up to a seat.
And once you've made it to a seat, bringing the palms together, bowing the chin, you are here, you have arrived. And feeling gratitude to yourself for all of the hard work you've done here tonight and this constant returning to the present moment anytime that your mind wanders. And may all of that effort and this practice continue to keep you grounded in the present moment. So until we meet again, namaste.